Okay, question number five from the specimen, oh sorry, from the sample assessment paper that is issued by the um, examining board for the Pure Mathematics 1 International A-Level paper. Um, so question number five, part A says, on the same axis, sketch the graphs of y equals x plus 2 and y equals x squared minus x minus 6, showing the coordinates of all points at which each graph crosses the coordinate axis. Okay, so for part A, all right, we've got to draw, I'll draw a pair of axes first. You should use a ruler for the straight lines that you need. Okay, so you're just going to do a sketch. This is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, this is your origin. So we've got to draw the line y equals x plus 2. Now that's a straight line. Okay, and to sketch that line, we know that it passes, uh, we can see that the, the gradient of this line is 1 equals mx plus c and the y-intercept is 2 so you know it passes through 2 okay on the y-axis and on the x-axis when x is equal to uh, sorry when y is equal to 0 to find where it crosses the x-axis you put y equals 0 when y equals 0 you can see x is equal to minus 2 you have 0 here x equals minus 2 so it passes through 2 and minus 2 so it'll be a straight line with a gradient of 1 going through 2 and minus 2 okay on the on the x-axis and the y-axis okay let me just uh, all right that's y equals x plus 2 just label it it's better then we got to draw the line y equals or the curve sorry y equals x squared minus x minus 6 now this is a quadratic because we see that the highest power is x squared so it's a quadratic and it has a positive um, coefficient for the x squared so you can say like a is greater than zero if you write it as in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c a is greater than zero so it's going to be a smiley face okay it's going to open upwards um, it crosses the y-axis when x is 0. When x is 0, y is equal to minus 6. So it crosses the y-axis at 0, minus 6. So it crosses the y-axis. Make this a bit steeper down here. Oops. So it crosses at minus 6 down here somewhere. And it crosses the x-axis when y is equal to 0. When y equals 0, you've got x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, now that would mean we need to, to solve this, we factorize it. We can see that this factorizes straight away into two brackets. You have x, one of them has to be a plus, one has to be a minus, and you're going to have 3 times 2 is, is 6, and the difference is 1, so you're going to be plus 2 and minus 3. So x equals minus 2, and x equals plus 3, positive 3. So at minus 2, so it actually cuts the x-axis in the same place that this does on one side, and the other place is at 3 over here. So we can see it's going to come down below minus 6 on this side, go up, and then go through 2. So I'll try my best to make a nice sketch. Don't make it too pointy or straight lined. It has to be curved. But it comes down, and then it goes back up again over here. Okay, I tried my best. It's not that smooth. You should try and do it smoother than that. Okay, it's a bit um, wobbly here. But uh, that's the best I can do right now. So y is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. One thing you should realize is that there's going to be a point where... I'll just continue this. There's going to be a point where they're going to meet up here somewhere. Okay, I've drawn it a bit too big. But they're going to meet up here because this is going to rise faster and faster and faster and this is going to be steady so they'll meet again so they meet at these two points okay so um what i'm going to do i'm going to cheat you oops i'm going to do a little bit of a cheat here i'm going to take all of this stuff and try to move it down yep let's do with this arrow so otherwise it'll be messed up Okay, so that's something I can do here, which you can't do on your exam, but just to give myself space there. So I've actually just shifted everything down a bit so that it fits up there. Okay, 
So we can see that, um, to sketch the graphs, okay, so we know that this cross is at minus 2 and 3, and this is at 2, this is at minus 6, 2 and minus 2. Uh, let's let's uh, label the line, that's the line there, that's the curve there, okay. So we've got everything there, we've got the um, sketch. Yep, okay, so then it says B, on your sketch, show by shading the region R defined by the inequalities y is less than x plus 2 and y is greater than x squared minus x minus 6. So basically we can see that um, y is less than x minus 2 in the region that's below it. Okay, and you can test for example the origin which is below it and see if it makes that true. If you put 0 instead of y you're going to have 0 and you put 0 instead of x you're going to have 2. 0 is less than 2. So we know that this is in the region where y is less than x plus 2 and all the other points on the same side of that line are also in that region. So the region we need is below this line and it also has to be um, above x squared minus x minus 6 which means it must be above this line, it must be above this curve, sorry. So the region we need is this region between those two points, between those two, um, um, the curve and the line. We need to, we need to shade this region here. Okay, we need to shade this region over here, so shading it, this is the region that needs to be shaded, this, the region between the curve and the line, okay, the region R, so and also because it says the region R, it's best for you to also label it as R, so I'll just label it in a bit thicker, that's the, that's the region R, the region that is between the line and the curve, okay, then it says hence or otherwise, Find the set of values of x for which x squared minus 2x minus 8 is less than 0. Okay, so now you've got to uh, think about this a little bit. It says hence or otherwise. See, you've got x squared minus 2x minus 8, whoops, minus 8 is less than zero and the equations that we have solved or the equations that we have drawn are x squared you got y equals x squared uh, minus x minus six and y equals uh, x plus two now one of the things that you notice is the question it says hence or otherwise so there even though at first sight this equation doesn't look like any of these two, the, the, re, the, the fact that it says hence is a clue for us to realize that we can use our previous answer to solve this question and normally it's an easier um, method to use the hence method. Okay, So what you can see is the points where the line and the curve intersect Okay are the solution to the equation where you make, if I make this equal to each other, x squared minus x minus 6 equals x plus 2. If I make those equal to each other, all right, and then I make an equation from that by bringing everything to one side, I have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. So where these two are equal to each other, which are these two points, one is when x is minus 2 and one is up here, Okay, that's the other point where they're equal to each other. Those two points where this curve and this line are equal to each other are the solutions, okay, to this equation. Okay, they're the solutions to this equation. All right. So when x, so basically, what we've what we've done here. All right, is if we can find uh, when this value here of of x where they meet, okay, which is going to be the solution to this equation here, okay, then we can solve this inequality. So the hence way and the otherwise way will both work fine here, okay, but um, they didn't ask us to find, yeah, so basically either way would be fine actually in this case, because in both cases you still have to find this value of x where they intersect. This this the value of x at the point where they intersect. So in order to do that, okay, um, we have to basically find the solution to this equation anyway. So let's solve this equation. x squared 
minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Okay, now think of two numbers. Does it say anything here? Find the set of values, no. Uh, can you find two numbers, 4 and 2? Yes, you can. So you've got x. If you have to factorize this, you're going to have 4 and 2. So x and x plus and minus. It's going to be um, 2 here and a 4 here. That will give you x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. So x equals minus 2, which is one of the points that we know already. And x equals 4. So I know that this point is 4. Okay, so I can say that x squared uh, minus 2x minus 8 is less than 0 where between the values of minus 2 and 4 for x. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. All right, because if I was to sketch this curve, okay, this curve would open upwards, it would go like this. And you can say between minus 2 and 4, okay, this is below 0, okay, it's, this is going to give you a negative value where it's below the x-axis between minus 2 and 4. When it's, above, when it's less than minus 2, it gives you a positive value, it's above the x-axis. When it's greater than 4, it's above the x-axis, gives you a positive value. But between minus 2 and 4, it's going to give you a negative value. So that means this is less than 0 between the x-values of minus 2 and 4. Okay, that's probably um, an easy way to think about it, actually. The hence way here, I suppose it will still work, but uh, where you have to solve this equation. So you're going to say that this is where x squared minus x minus 6 is less than x plus 2. I suppose it's the same thing, x squared minus x minus 6. This region that we found is where x squared minus x minus, uh, x squared minus x minus 6 is less than x plus 2. That's what we've just shaded. Okay. That's the region we've shaded where this um, the curve is below the line. So if you rearrange that, you'll get uh, the same thing as that. That will give you the same thing. So yeah, so it's minus 2 and 4. So in either case, we still had to solve this equation to find the other point where, it, um, where there's basically, if you did it the hence way where they intersect, or if you did the otherwise way where this curve hits the x-axis. Okay, so both ways are perfectly fine here. So there we have the answer to that question.